Before I show you the VAR in action, I actually feel that I have to tell you guys just a little bit about how this thing we are writing right here, the language, the C-sharp language, actually gets converted into something that a machine can read because we're not writing stuff that humans should be able to read. Uh, we're writing stuff that machines should actually be able to read. And that's why we have the compiler. So think of the compiler as a way to take the human readable part here that you see right now and converts it into something that the machine can read. I know this is very basic, but I want you guys to just understand that before we talk about the var, because the compiler is kind of important. So what happens when I do this, where I run this console log with the green arrow up here, uh, when it pops up, it's actually before, right now it's building the project for me. And what does that mean? Let me just shut it down. It actually means that inside, over here, you can actually right click if you want to, you can find open folder in File Explorer, like this. It'll pop up here, and the folder looks like this. And under there, you will find a bin folder, a debug folder, a netcore app 1.1. And here, you'll actually see a console app as computer readable code. So, what actually happened with the compiler? Well, it takes your C -sharp language that you wrote, you can read, you can understand, converts it into some file that the machine can read and understand. And that's kind of the goal of a compiler, that's the goal of an IDE as well, to be able to take human readable stuff and make it into machine readable stuff. I feel that is pretty important because next time when I talk about the var, I'll try and explain to you why it's even possible to use a keyword like the var keyword.